it all began with the dream of this man, Pietro Gallina, a Roman musician who, with the support of his Brazilian wife Marlene de Souza and his friend Roy Zimmerman, wanted to create a school and cultural center to serve an impoverished community in Salvador de Bahia. He wanted to find a place far from the city center, out in the sprawling Cidade Baixa, the low city, with its dismal favelas, from the stilt houses of the Alagados to the hapless streets of Uruguay and Masaranduba. In 2003, he bought a beautiful but dilapidated Casarao, a hundred-year-old building on the waterfront of Rivera, and he got busy restoring it. From the start, the building was filled with kids. Marlene began teaching Italian classes, and the first graduates received their diplomas when the formal inauguration took place in January 2006. Since then, the program of courses has expanded to include three levels of Italian and two levels of English. These courses are offered at a very low price, and even the poorest students are never turned away. Computer literacy courses are open to the whole community, young and old, free of cost, as is a popular drawing course. And thanks to our wonderful instructor Augusto, dozens of kids practice Hapkido, the rigorously disciplined Korean martial art. Thanks to the skills they have learned at the Institute, our graduates have found meaningful employment and they have become positive forces in the community. At the very heart of the Institute is the Leonardo da Vinci International Library, specialized in music, the arts, and tourism, with over 15,000 titles in its catalog between books and periodicals, CDs, and videos. This precious resource is open to the general public and it collaborates with local schools. The Institute also hosts numerous activities and events, such as a lively cine forum held every week. And there are many art exhibitions with paintings, drawings, sculpture, and photography from all over the world. And these events permit the locals to learn from other cultures while deepening their appreciation of their own rich traditions. To satisfy the Bahians' love of music, the ICBIE hosts frequent concerts offering opportunities for musicians from Salvador to play along with talented artists from Europe and the United States. The Institute has its own theater group and welcomes foreign actors and actresses who give workshops and stage performances. Conferences, seminars, and poetry readings stimulate the minds of the local people, bringing them into contact with other cultures and expanding their horizons. The Institute is the center for the innovative Salvador Grafita project, sponsored by the city to promote street art instead of repressing it. In 2008, the ICBIE organized a citywide international graffiti meeting, attracting artists from all around the world. Salvador Grafita also works in the poorest neighborhoods, organizing wonderful happenings where their vibrant colors are mixed with music, children's games, circus performances, and food. To show off the talents of these artists, the ICBIE has coordinated three European tours visiting France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Always reaching out to the community, sharing its resources, and assisting the children, the Institute of Culture Brazil, Italy, Europe is there to sustain the needy people of Salvador.